In this video, I'll give you an overview over the app Filmora Go. This is an editing app that you can use on your iPhone and on your Android device. It offers a ton of possibilities. And in this video, I'll give you an overview. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today, like I said in the intro, we will be talking about the app Filmora Go. This is an iPhone app and also an Android app um, where you can edit your videos and it offers a ton of possibilities. And in the past, I have already reviewed a desktop version of this app uh, on my computer. This was called Filmora 11, and there is a full breakdown on this channel. Um, I think it's about 20 minutes long, so in case you like what you see in this video, you can definitely also check out the desktop version because this also offers a ton of possibilities. And yeah, in this video, like I said, I will give you an overview. So I will start a screen recorder on my smartphone so without any further ado, I would say let's hop into the app and I have it here on my screen and this is what it looks like. I actually I'm just using the standard free version. You can upgrade this without any issues and then you have a few more features and then you can also export your videos in full 4K quality with the free version. You're limited to 1080p and yeah but that should be just fine for what i'm doing right now so this is what the app looks like when you open it up um, you can start a new project you can access the camera so you can also directly within the app you can also film some videos um, you can also access um, all the other photos and so that you have already shot and here you have recent projects um, i have already been using it to, um, to edit some videos um, and there you have some different effects and so on but I would say let's actually start a new project together and then I will give you a little bit of an overview on where you can find stuff and how everything is working. So to create a new project, just tap on new project and then we can decide which of the videos that we want to import. We can also import um, some photos, but for this one, I just wanna import some videos. So I'll just select a few clips. Um, this is actually from my holiday recently. So yeah, let's take these 10 clips, let's import them. And now you can see it says importing the videos and you have a little bar where you can see like how far it already is. So this is what it's now looking like. But by the time I have imported all my clips into the software, um, at the very top, you can see it says 1080p. Like I said before, since I'm just using the free version, I can only edit up to 1080p and then I can also change my frame rate. I'll put that down to 25 frames per second and I will leave it at 1080p for now. Um, at the left top there you have a little X and you can just exit your project, but we of course want to go back into that one. And at the right you have Pro Export. Um, you could add a watermark um, and you can change the resolution, but that's not too important for now. Unfortunately, as of right now, we do have a little bit of a bug because usually um, here where it's just black, you should have a little miniature um, view of the video. Um, I have been using the app before today and there it was working just fine. So it seems like this just a little bug and here actually it is also working. Not quite sure what's going on here. Um, what the app does by the time you import your videos, um, it automatically stitches them all together. Um, if you want to change um, like the way how they are stitched together, that's working really nicely and really easily. Just pick the video that you like and then just, you know, slide it to the position where you would like to have it. So that works just fine. That's no problem at all. In case you want to make a transition between two clips. So if we play that back. You can see there is no transition so i just zoom in a little bit and if you if we tap between those two clips as you can see now we have several different transitions that we can just um, access by tapping on it we have basic we have motion we have zoom we have twill fish eye roll and simple i'll just go back to basic and i don't know i'll just pick that one for now then you also have a little um, preview don't like that one really much maybe that one yeah that looks a little bit better so that's how you can add transitions in case you want to add music to your videos just go to add music and then you can pick music from files from airdrop or from itunes and then the app itself also offers some of the music clips um, 
To be honest, I don't know if they are royalty free, so if you can use them for your videos that you're also going to publish. In case you're not planning on publishing the video, then of course, just take the song that you like and it doesn't really matter. But let's go back now. Um, something that's also pretty cool if we tap on a clip, you can see at the bottom here, there are many different options that you can do with this clip now. And the first one is uh, actually my favorite thing of this app actually and that is the speed because as you probably know i'm a big fan of making speed ramps and this is actually really cool on how you can make speed ramps if we go here on to curve and then custom and then tap on it one more then you can see here that we can customize our speed ramps so it starts now very quickly it slows down then we can make it fast again so it slows down fast again and then it slows down again. So this is just one example. Of course, you can tweak this much further. And for this specific clip, this is not looking too good right now. But just the way how you can add this and how you can work with keyframes here is really nice. And yeah, I really like that. You can add all of these keyframes manually, but you can also um, go back to some of the um, automated things and some of the presets that the program is offering you. So you have montage and bullet and jump cut and yeah, just several different options. Some of them look better than others, um, just depending on the clip. But overall just a really nice way that you can do this directly on your smartphone next to speed you have motion and there you can just add um, some effects to the clip um, yeah i'm not the biggest fan of these but yeah maybe they look good for your project so that's how you could add this next to that we have volume so the internal volume of the clip and i don't like that so i'll just turn that down then we have pre-cut and there you can just trim, cut and split the video um, just however you like it. So there you have, um, you can just slide that around and say, okay, my clip starts looking good right here. So this is now way and it starts right here. This is looking good and it ends back then. So yeah, you could do that. That also works just fine. Next up we have crop and here you can actually decide um, where your video is going to end up. So whether it should be a 16 by nine video, then it crops it to 16 by nine. Whether you would like um, to make a video for TikTok or YouTube shorts or for a reel, just tap on that and then you can see it is a nine by 16 video. Next to that, you also have the option to make a one by one video, four by five and five by four. So these are the options that you have. Um, but for now, I'll just leave it at 9 by 16 as reels are going crazy at the moment. Next up, we have a feature that is actually pretty cool that I'm just not needing at the moment and that I cannot truly show you how this works, but that is smart cutout. And what you can do is you can remove a background and you can even chroma key a green screen. So in case you're filming yourself with a green screen or in case you wanna just remove a background, you can do that very easily with just a simple click of a button. Um, like I said, I do not have a green screen video on here right now but it's really cool that you have this option. Then next up we have masking. Um, there you can just um, do some masks. Yeah, I do not need that right now, but yeah, you can just cut it at the top or just a splice or just a, whatever you like, several different options. Um, that's also really nice. Next up we have filter and these are basically like uh, color grading filters that you can add. You have cinematic, and yeah, you can also dial down the intensity just as you like it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Also that you can import LUTs is really nice and you can just um, accept it by tapping here and then you have applied it to the clip and then you can also auto apply it to all the other clips. So yeah, that's really nice. Next up, you can change the opacity. So in case you wanna make some, I don't know, some effect, you can dial down the, uh, the opacity. Next up, we have fade. We can fade in and fade out the music. We can do even a noise reduction. Um, that's basically just a simple tap. So in case you have a video that's a little noisy, you can work on that with the noise reduction. Then you can freeze a frame. So you can basically just add in a freeze frame. Um, I don't need that right now. So 
I will actually just delete that. Next up, you can reverse the clip and then you can also change the rotation. So however you like it. So these are just some of the features that this app has to offer. There are even way more than this, what I was talking about in this video. For example, you can also add stickers. Um, you can add like, I don't know, this like or subscribe for your YouTube videos or a thumbs up or whatever. It's also pretty cool that they are animated um, this hashtag here, you can of course change the text. So just offers a ton of possibilities. It's very user friendly in case you would also like to add a text. You can just, you know, just by tapping on add text and you can of course add your text, just add text here. And then you can also, you know, change um, the font. You can change the size of the text. You can change the color. So there are basically no limits here. So yeah, that's really nice as well. And then you can also animate things. So in case you would like to animate the text right here, you have several different presets. Um, also with the text itself. So yeah, like I said, this app offers a ton of possibilities and this is just a free version. So in case you would like to have the pro version, then you can also export your videos in full quality without having any watermarks at all. So overall, I'm really happy with this app. It's very comparable to VN or LumaFusion, for example. So in case you're searching for an editing app for your smartphone, then definitely make sure to give this a shot. But that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it definitely make sure to check out this app in case you would like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking then definitely make sure to check out smartphonefilmmakingpro.com we are the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking with an online course with almost 200 videos and almost 20 hours of content we're confident to say that this is by far the best course about learning how to film with your smartphone but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.